Hey MotoTubers, welcome back. Today I am leaving bright and early on a moto trip and this particular moto trip is going to be one that heads up the Oregon coast. Uh, we're going to be hitting the 101 um, early and actually this trip's a little bit different because we are going to be staying at different hotels. Um, typically, matter of fact, probably 99% of the rides I go on we camp out uh, with our motorcycles, with tents or um, lean-tos or just uh, tarps. And on those trips, sometimes we stop off at a hotel maybe one night to get a good shower and a breakfast or something like that. But this particular trip is going to be hotel to hotel to hotel. They're actually pre-planned out, which I have never had happen before on a moto trip. Um, I've been on hundreds of moto trips. And this is the first one ever, so uh, nothing like going on a first time trip. So come on with me, let's go hit the road and see what kind of adventures we can get into. stop get some fuel tighten down the bikes make sure everything's good to go we're all riding something a little bit different but uh, as you can see a lot of baggers are out MotoTubers, we made it to our first stop. It's Taylor Sausage right behind us. I already did a video on this uh, about a year or so ago, so I'm not gonna do too much videoing while we're in there, but I will show you the food. All right, let's go get something to eat. That was some good food. Time to get back on the road and hit the ocean. Well, another stop. We're almost to the coast. Not quite there yet. I'm gonna grab some fuel and probably an energy drink. Right there. Come on, dude. 
That guy almost just killed us. Yeah. He all ran us off the road. And the cops saw it, part of it. I saw you guys pull to the side, I said, let me jump in there too. Yeah. And let's cut him off together unless he runs us over. <laughs> right? But, uh, that an idiot. And then that lady's like. She's just sticking up for her fellow logger. Because yeah, they'll have stupid. stories at the oh, bar sure. later, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, dude, that guy should not be behind a wheel, man. He shouldn't for be. Real. They, he's arrested, right? That's what the officer said. Wait, he, where's. There's no way he, he said should that. Be he said that, that right to us. He said, he said, that guy's not going anywhere today. I got him on reckless driving and. It, endangering okay you guys aren't gonna believe what just happened we just got ran off the road by a um, log truck coming down the 101 doing 75 miles an hour almost slammed into the back of me at the back of the pack and then split the pack and almost ran us off the road come to find out a cop pulled him over and there was other people who pulled over also who he ran off the road, and one of which actually hit the guy's car. So that dude got in trouble to say the least. But anyway, along the ride, I caught a bee sting right here in the neck during one of those reverse shot films that I took. Anyway, those are a couple of the updates on the um, Moto Vlog. We are officially to the coast, the Oregon coast, somewhere about halfway up, I would say done a couple hundred miles a day not far from our first hotel stop so we'll see what that looks like and uh, go check in our first stop. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've made it. My bike is parked next to boats. We are officially on the coast, Moto Tubers. And here's our room, right here. Look, our room's joined. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Not a bad little setup. Off to the next day. Stopped to get a bite to eat at one of the only places that would serve us. Let's walk, I'll tell you about it. So this has been an interesting trip. This is morning uh, two, so day two. And uh, we've headed up the Oregon coast, just uh, a little ways. Um, but we had to because the little town that we were staying in had one little breakfast restaurant that had signs outside boasting breakfast sandwiches and coffee, uh, espressos, all this stuff. So we thought, cool, we'll go over there. You know, we'll eat there. They were open. There was one car out front. And uh, yeah, so before we even walk in, we get off our bikes, before we even walk in, this lady sticks her head out the window and says, 
sorry, we can't serve you guys uh, without a reservation. <laughs> We said, well, it's 8.30 in the morning and there's one car in the parking lot. Like, are you sure you, you can't serve us, you know? She said, nope, sorry, don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> so unbelievable. That was honestly, it was unbelievable. I couldn't help myself. I had to go inside the restaurant and just kind of like look around to see if it was even a real restaurant. And uh, sure enough, I think it was um, real enough. Uh, but there were two people sitting in there eating breakfast and about 25 empty tables, including one large table. We only have seven people with us right now, so it would have fit all of us easily, to be honest with you. So I couldn't help myself. I said, so you can't seat us and serve us, huh? You don't have enough room. She said, yeah, we don't have enough tables. And I turned and I looked and I saw basically an empty restaurant. And uh, the it was really funny because the other two people that were there eating looked at me and gave me this kind of crooked like, what? That doesn't make sense. So anyway, I say all that to say this. The, the Coast Highway 101. I've spent a lot of time out here. I've rode this up and down inland on the coast, different towns, different motels, different hotels, different campsites, different restaurants and coffee shops and I have to be honest with you guys if you are planning a trip out here and you're riding or taking your family be prepared for a couple things one extremely lazy people most of the people here don't want to do their job and if they do want to do their job they're pissed off that they have to do their job okay so that's one so you encounter that all the time and two I gotta be honest I don't get too political or anything I'm, I'm a Marine. Uh, I don't really get into politics because I think politics is kind of, uh, kind of a dog and pony show for the most part. But the entire Oregon coast is so woke with this mindset of, hi, how can I not help you today? Rude, judgmental, short, just honestly, not very American, to be honest. It's very, I don't know, rude. Uh, yeah, so yesterday we had that trucker uh, with a gigantic load of wood. It was a logger with a gigantic load of logs that uh, almost killed us. And I say that not very lightly because he came really close to it. Um, Boy, yeah, almost rear-ended me and, uh, and then uh, ran a whole nother uh, series of cars off the road who was actually the ones who called the cops, come to find out later. And by the time we got into the next little town, the cops were waiting for the guy and, well, one cop. And to be honest, once again, a pretty soft cop who looked scared and intimidated the entire time. <sighs> I don't know, have a set of clankers on you if you're gonna do that job, but I digress on that. That's probably just my old ways of thinking. It is morning two. We found a restaurant. We're gonna get some food and um, head up the coast even further and see what the day's got for us. It is foggy. It's kind of cold. I would say chilly, but it's more of a coast chill it's not uh it's not like freezing shaking cold but other than that bikes are running great one of the bikes is leaking some oil so been uh smelling that the whole ride burning on the exhaust um and uh yeah just cruising up the 101 we're gonna go to our next motel or hotel i don't know which one it's gonna be it's always an adventure every day i guess we'll just have to wait and see but Anyway, MotoTubers, uh, I think I've caught you up on everything. Um, we're gonna be out for another couple days hitting the uh, Oregon coast. So I will check back in with you guys when we hit the road. About halfway up. The Oregon coastline. 101.
Well, we decided to stop for a cup of coffee at the Pirate Coffee Company right on the coast. This is Depot Bay. We are apparently one more kind of large town or whatever because there's these large towns on the coast every 20 miles or so. Um, this is one of the larger ones we've gone through. Next, I believe, is Lincoln. And uh, supposedly it's got a strip that's even longer than this one. When I say strip, I mean just your typical kind of um, tourist catch-all. You buy your seashells, your hats, sweatshirts, coffee, food. Today, I'm looking for a crab feast. I want to eat a big old pile of crab legs or lobster tail or shrimp, something like that. So that's what I'm looking for today. But anyway, just stopped for a coffee break. Figured I'd update you guys and um, let's keep on going on this trip. Well, we're back, Moto Tubers. We finally made it to our next destination, the great and wonderful Motel 6. This one's not all that bad. I think our room might even have a view of the ocean. But uh, that's the 101 right there. So we are right off the edge of the freeway and um, I'm taking some of my stuff in here, getting it packed up uh, in my bag and ready to head in. Um, anytime I leave the bike, I use a cable lock to lock my bike to my buddy's bike or to a pole or to a tree. I know that seems like a little overkill, but uh, when you're on the road as much, as I am, you figure out these little tricks, which some of these I will show you guys and share the information with you as best I can. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff in and head up to the room, see what it looks like. Why not? That's what comes off the bike. Anyway, this is our second motel we've been at on this trip, and we are on the second level. As you can see, I parked the motorcycle so I can keep an eye on it at night, and I have my little tricks that I do to keep it safe. Maybe I'll show those to you guys someday. Anyway, check it out. Today was a fun day. Um, we rode Oh, over a hundred miles of absolute Oregon coast. Lots of stuff that was um, resembles the Oregon coast. We got to see lighthouses and some cool um, harbors and places where you know they do all the boat stuff. To be honest, I'm not a fisherman. I don't do that, but I have respect for it because I think it's cool and I like to eat fish and crab and everything else that goes along with that. So on that note, tonight the plan is to go find a seafood restaurant that brings their own seafood in from the dock ready to cook for you and I want to have lobster tail and shrimp and probably a big old pile of crab legs um, and maybe even if they have mashed potatoes I'll have a big pile of mashed potatoes tonight but anyway I love me some mashed potatoes they are absolutely bomb uh, yeah, but anyway, for now, we're here. We're at our second hotel on this hotel trip up the Oregon coast, and uh, we're gonna go get something to eat, so let's go do that. Well, what would any moto trip be without a bike running into some problems? And it never fails. It always attracts some locals. So here we go. I think it's a battery issue. Okay. Good luck, man. Thank you. Think this will work? Oh, I'm sure it will work. All righty. I mean, if it's a battery issue, and I'm sure it is. I just got to get to the battery. Thank you for your Hoorah. Absolutely. If bikers aren't on the side of the road at least once on a trip, I don't think it was a good trip. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. The blue light should go off. There we go. Yep. Well, got it running. Needs a new battery. That's the next stop.
We got a battery. We got a battery. How much? <laughs> an arm and a leg, oh, actually. An arm and a leg, okay. possibly a kidney. <laughs> we'll have to uh, determine that later. Okay. I've got, I, I got the dough. Sometimes the best thing said is nothing. I know, I'm learning. All right, here's the test start. You said turn it on until that. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do that. That's this fuel injected system. Wait until. You know, I gotta push, push the button on? Yeah, turn that on. Now, hear that? Yeah. See that? Wait till it goes off. Don't twist the throttle and hit start. Yeah, because you don't need to turn a throttle. On <laughs> is what says how much fuel back on, the road. back on the road well moto tubers it is day three on the road i should say morning three i've already been up went on a little walk checked out a little lincoln city and um, now we are at a place called pigs and blanket pigs and pancakes i don't know it says harley's welcome on the sign so we're hoping maybe we'll get sat here Anyway, uh, this morning, uh, one of the guys on the ride had a battery issue, so um, we had to go start, uh, jump start his bike, ride it over to AutoZone, and the guys at AutoZone were awesome, huge help, uh, let us borrow tools and everything like you would imagine, you know, a parts store should do. Um, but you never know, like I said, we're over here on the, uh, the west coast and things have been strange to say the least. But uh, yeah, so we're here, we're fixing to go eat and get on the road. We're heading east from here towards Salem and then uh, I-5 down. We're gonna just hammer the main vein I-5 down. So um, I'm hoping to meet up with a buddy in Salem. We'll see if that happens, I'm not too sure. But uh, either way, we're out on a ride, day three, and weather's looking good and it's gonna get hot as we head east. So um, gonna get some belly in our food and get going. All right, guys. All right, guys, this is the last night. We have come all the way down I-5 and hit a town called Roseburg. We're staying at a little hotel right over there. Right off the side of the road and decided to eat here tonight. A place called Cheese. I'll give you one guess what they serve. Like I said, this is our last stop, so this would be Day three, tomorrow will be day four. We'll be waking up and hitting I-5 South and then uh, heading on to our prospective homes. So that's kind of the plan, that's what's going on. The bike issues were only a couple. We had um, a battery issue and a lighting issue. Those were the only two issues we had with the bike. So, so far so good. Um, and the road has been pretty nice other than that crazy trucker. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe, share this with your friends, and uh, pass this info on to some other Moto folks so they can uh, watch this channel, it really helps out. So, catch you guys later. Welcome to Cheese.